Hey, what's up you guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are continuing off on planting oats. Um, I finished off that section, like I said, and so now we just have this big area left to plant. Um, we do need to look into a seed tender, so I think we need to decide on something. Um... I think we'll just get this one. Uh, main color, let's go with black. We'll set up uh, standard. Leave the rim color, design white color. Uh, we'll do color and just make that black too, I guess. Um, and we want auger wagon for our design. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and we're just going to reset that. And we'll hop on into this tractor, and we're going to go over and get that. We're just going to go out this gate here. This is kind of a little less of a uh, trek to get out. It takes to the same place, but it's just a quicker route this way. <clears throat> so you really can't see the smoke when you're in cab which kind of stinks but oh well I do kind of wish that the uh, reset point had been left where it was over there, um, but then again, you know, when we move to the farm that we're farming by right now, or even if we like base out of the dairy farm for all of our, you know, like if we get into cattle again and run our cattle operation and our grain operation out of there, it is kind of closer, it's more central. Um, of course, if we get into, like, this farm down here, we're getting a little ways away, you know, from any of those other farms, but, um, that is okay, I guess. Uh, I do want to put down this fall, uh, seed and fertilizer production facilities, uh, and maybe some more. Because uh, let's see, what do we got here for placeables? Um, so we've got... So we'd get the buy all fruit silo to buy a couple of items that we don't have. Um, like manure or slurry or whatever. Um, you know, and then we'd get the seed and fertilizer storage. Um, well, it'd probably be just the seed. Because I don't really need to use solid fertilizer. But then we'd get this liquid fertilizer storage. Um, I've got this root crops sale and storage. Um, and we do have a placeable sawmill, but I don't plan to do any forestry. <clears throat> uh, but then here we have the seed, fertilizer, and liquid fertilizer production facilities. Uh, these I'd most likely put... Well, I'm not going to go all the way over there, but um, I'd most likely put those down by Suncor Energy, uh, where that little flat spot is next to it, uh, like basically right on the tire, that little gray spot uh, that's right in there. That's about right where I'd put it, you know, so it's not like directly at our farm, super convenient or anything, you know, we do have to drive to it, but um... Yeah, I, technically we could do that right now, uh, get that, and then the, the storage places would be at the farm. Uh, those I would put there, but but um, you know it would it would be kind of nice. Uh, technically, I could place it now and get the buy all fruit silo, and then we could just you know get like a small tanker trailer or whatever. Um, but 
I'd like to wait until we have grain and then we can use some of it maybe I don't know or maybe we'll just buy grain specifically for that purpose we'll have to kind of see I love the way that this tarp is on this how it kind of sinks in in the areas there so what do we got for controls here we've got pipe out so that just lifts it up and then we got pipe on and off keypad 9 drop that down we got the cover cool pretty neat little trailer so the keypad 9 like brings the auger up and down which is kind of neat so we'll go ahead and we'll take this over here to the farm and we'll fill it up and uh, <coughs> um, I will see you guys once we get back to uh, Back to the field with this.
Alrighty guys, and here we are. So I think we'll just top the planter off. Um, it is still, I want to say half full or something, I don't know. I guess I didn't really look that closely. So we're all filled up with seeds. This holds 21,000 liters of seed. So it holds uh, plenty of seed. So we're going to go ahead and pull up behind the planter here. And... Get this fired up. Yeah, so it is 42% full of seed yet. But uh, we'll just top that off. So we'll go ahead and we'll get everything out here. I believe that is actually filming it. Yes, it is. Cool. So I can actually just leave this down like that. That would make it a little easier to get to. Or to get lined up anyways. Alright, we'll just leave this guy sit right about here for now. We won't need it for a while, hopefully. And back to planting we go. <clears throat> so hopefully we can finish this field up in this video. Uh, like I mentioned, but... We're just going to kind of have to see. <coughs> oh. We'll just have to see kind of what we get done. So yesterday I was talking about the planter that I'd like to upgrade to in the future. That planter is... Um, this, whoops, this one right here, I mean, these are the same size, just this one's the larger air seeder, and this one, it's, they both cultivate and seed, just this is an air seeder and this one's not. Um, I mean, that's really all the smaller that I have versus, until I go to like, you know, these air seeders or, you know, something like this maybe. Uh, maybe we could get this one too. This is 12 meters. And this thing is 12.8. So they're roughly the same size almost. But I'd probably get the John Deere before getting this Lemkin. But then we'd, you know, after that we could go to like this setup and we'll uh, kind of get there in the future to where we're running pretty large. But. I think kind of what we've got now is pretty good. I think next season we'll keep quite a few of the fields that we're running. We'll probably just get rid of like a couple of the smaller fields and replace them with like a couple bigger fields. Uh, is what I'm kind of thinking. Uh, I'm not positive, I guess, though, but something like that. I think what we're going to do is we're going to fire up some GPS here uh, once we get to the end of this. This kind of helped this go a little more smoothly. Uh, we do have to do a couple more headlands along this part here first and then we'll be able to get set up on our GPS I do have a couple of skipped spots but I'm not too terribly worried about them I guess <clears throat> I 
Now if it was like a bit of a strip, then I'd probably go back and get it, but two little spots. I'll leave them. I'm thinking of kind of going in this general direction. We kind of have to uh, see here. Maybe get our working with set. Get rid of that offset. What did this put it to? 9.3? What is this actually? Working with is 9, so we're going to bring our work width down to 8.8 8 .8 work. That'll be good. Alright, we're going to lock onto this line right here. And this is the one we'll turn around here and we'll follow this one over there. <coughs> oh. up kind of perfectly with that uh, corner right there. Uh, not miss the tree. Was hoping that we would miss it, but I guess uh, we didn't. Oh well. up this little bit here. about set now. I kinda wish these windows weren't tinted now. I mean it does look pretty cool on this tractor but makes for uh, pain when you're trying to work in cab. Uh, I do thank everybody for the responses on that monitor there. Um, pretty much everybody said it'd be for like a grain cart, which makes sense as well. I just kind of figured with all of the buttons on it. Well, I guess I kind of remember my grandpa's being like that too, uh, having some like letter keys and stuff like that. But it's been a while since I've been in their grain cart tractor. But, um, I kind of figured it'd be probably like a green card monitor or for like, uh, uh, a toolbar applicator, like an anhydrous applicator or something, something like that. I think I can bring the working with up to like nine. Because it is doing quite a bit of overlap and stuff. And I want to try and get as little of overlap as possible. 
is I want to get as much planting done in a path as I can. Maybe I had a good reason for putting 9.3 and then an offset, but I'd rather run it at 9 without an offset. that little bit. That's dumb. And we'll get it I guess when we turn around, but the fact that it missed that little spot but yet it was planting that far over for the rest of the pass. That's just weird. Just plain weird. Alright, we got this little piece finished now. I'll just keep on chipping away at the rest of the field here. And then anything that we don't get done in this video, I will finish off camera just so that way this field's more or less done. And then we can move on to the next one. And we do still have about 12 minutes, so we might get more or less, might come pretty close to finishing this field. Uh, we did take quite a bit of time getting that um, tender trailer and then you know, going and retrieving it, getting it filled up, that kind of stuff. So, And then also filling a planter. We still have about 80% of seed, so we, we would have come pretty close to being empty by about now. But, uh, better to just top it off sooner. Then we aren't running out in the middle of the field or something like that. We're not running out period then. And it takes less time to refill as well. And when you just top it off sooner. And before it's empty. I do like the uh, setup of this farm here. It is set up pretty nice. One thing that would be really cool, yeah, I know that these uh, two buildings right there, um, you know, they are pushed into each other kind of, but it would be kind of neat if they were actually like, you know, had a basically like the wall of back wall of that shed there, and then part of that wall uh, on that shed were like removed. So that way this was just kind of one big L-shaped shed. That'd be really cool. <coughs> I do plan to make quite a few building model, you know, building objects 
here in the future for my um, map that I'm working on. Plan to make quite a few buildings for that. I may like put in some other ones, uh, you know, to start with, just so I kind of have, you know, something in there, and then in the future, you know, as I get objects done, replace them. But I would like to just do things once and be done with it. But I guess that'll just kind of depend on how things go, I guess, and how anxious I get to finish it and be playing on it. Look, look inside through the top of the cab there. I guess that's one way to see inside. Yeah, I think I'll probably be finishing this field off camera, but I don't think there'll be a super huge amount left. <coughs> um, at least I hope not, and then we'll be able to move on over to, I think field 13 is next. And then, I think it's 13, 16, and 17 yet. I don't think we're farming field 14 this season. I think our biggest this season is probably field 14. I'm thinking that's probably the biggest field that we're running right now. I think. I'm not positive on that. I'd have to look at the uh, Google Sheets document to be exact on what our biggest field is. But I don't really want to tab out right now and look at it. So... I'll look at it after the video, I guess, and find out for tomorrow. I guess we can do a little in-cab work, even though we really can't see much of anything, but... Except a lot of dirt. <coughs> when you go in cab, it almost seems like it's like evening or something like that. Uh, I don't know. I don't like going in cab on this tractor. I'd have to look into uh, removing the tinted windows on it make them something else like a normal window texture I only got a few more passes left little piece right here is the latch for these uh, sides when they fold in let's get this box in place there are a few items on this thing that are missing dirt that 
don't really need to be, but mostly those chrome parts. I mean, the top of the stack doesn't really bother me. It's those chrome parts under the hood that are really driving me insane. It's just so shiny in the middle of all that dirt. That's how some mods work, though, I guess. I do always like when uh, mods have animated parts under the hood, you know, like the fan, for example, or the rain caps. I like when tractors have that. You know, this doesn't have. No. I know there's one tractor that the uh, shaft they're connecting the two halves of the tractor that spins on a few mods that I have. Uh, so I'll pretty much have these uh, in-between passes to do off-camera here. We're not quite going to get everything done. I do like this setup. I think it's a pretty, uh, pretty cool setup. Definitely a very dirty setup at the moment, but. Now we can start filling the rest of these in. We got six passes. That's not too bad. That's enough that uh, the video will be over before that. In fact, we are pretty much just about done here. Eventually, I think it'd be pretty cool to have all John Deere equipment on here, on this save game. Would be neat, but uh, I don't know that that'll actually happen or not, but you never know, I guess it might. Get a, all we'd need is a John Deere drill, a um, John Deere cultivator, and uh, get rid of the case and get a John Deere combine and uh, we'd be about good but that is going to do it for this video like I said I will finish uh, this little bit off camera and then I'm pretty sure that field 13 is our next field so then I will get uh, these two tractors moved over to that field and get things ready so that way we can plant that field uh, tomorrow um, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you guys tomorrow.